Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this episode, I'll show you how to change the ProSoft uh, module MVI 56E mo ProSoft module IP address. Um, so this uh, configuration uh, technique is similar to uh, any other ProSoft card or module. So let's get started here. So uh, the first thing I normally like to do is to read off the configuration file from the ProSoft module itself. Uh, the way to do it is to click on the red arrow here and then a pop-up window will appear saying upload files from module to your PC. The first four numbers here on the CIP Connect is your IP address of your PLC, not the IP address of the ProSoft module. So you just have to keep that in mind. The next thing I'd like to do is to uh, give a click on that uh, test connection button there and if all the connections are good you should you should get a successful connect successfully connected uh, pop-up window there and click OK to close that window the next thing you want to do is to hit click on upload and upload will actually read the configuration from your module into your computer once you have successfully uploaded your configuration into your computer you'll get an upload completed message on the top right hand corner of that pop-up window click on OK to close it and it's always a good idea of course to save it to your hard drive okay to change your IP address of your ProSoft module you'll have to click on Ethernet connection configuration I'm sorry uh, on the tree on the left hand side there and you can see uh, what it will come up with is uh, edit uh, WATTCP window. I'm not exactly sure what that stands for, but nevertheless, the first row actually is your IP address of your ProSoft module. Uh, the next one is your subnet mask, and the last one will be the gateway. Right? In order to change, just click or highlight the row that you want to change, say my IP address, and you can make those changes on the right hand side by changing each of the octet there, like what I'm doing right now. So I'm going to go ahead and make those changes on the IP address. Uh, and also the subnet mask followed by the gateway here. Once I'm done with that, I'll click on OK and you'll bring it back and I'll click on the MVI 56E Mnet uh, branch on the tree on the left hand side and you'll notice on your main window you'll see that the IP address has changed. That is your new IP address that you've just assigned for the ProSoft module. So the next thing to do is to upload. Click on the red arrow that's pointing downwards. It'll pop up a window. Then you click on the download button. Once you click on the download button, this uh, configuration file will start to get transmitted into the module. And once that is complete, you'll get a download complete. And what the module does is that it power cycles by itself and once the power cycles routine is complete module running uh, message will pop up that is how you change the ip address of the prosoft module if you like it please subscribe give me a thumbs up or maybe leave a comment you'll help me all right have a good day guys take care bye